السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته أهلا وسهلا كيف الحال؟ الحمد لله We hope and pray you all are in your best state of health and iman. Today, we are going to recite Surah to Quraysh. But before we begin, let's move on to today's question. Our question for today is, which clan of Quraysh has the honor to keep the keys of the Kaaba? Let's begin with the dua. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقدة من لساني واحلل عقدة من لساني يفقه Let's begin. Surah to Quraysh. Surah to Quraysh. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Li ilafi, li ilafi, Quraysh, Quraysh. Li ilafi Quraysh, li ilafi Quraysh. Ilafihim, ilafihim, rihlat al-shita'i, rihlat al-shita'i. Wassayf, wassayf. Ilafihim rihlat al-shita'i wa al-sayf Ilafihim rihlat al-shita'i wa al-sayf Harim, Rah has kasra ali. Can you make that clear? Rihlat al-shita'i And can you make your hamza clear as well? If not from the deepest part of your throat. Okay. رحلة الشتاء فليعبدوا فليعبدوا رب رب هذا البيت هذا البيت فليعبدوا رب هذا البيت فليعبدوا رب هذا البيت الذي أطعمهم من جوع الذي أطعمهم من جوع هين can you make your thought a little bit heavier أطعمهم من جوع yes that was better وَآمَنَهُمْ مِنْ خَوْفٍ وَآمَنَهُمْ مِنْ خَوْفٍ الَّذِي أَطْعَمَهُمْ مِنْ جُوعٍ وَآمَنَهُمْ مِنْ خَوْفٍ الَّذِي أَطْعَمَهُمْ مِنْ جُوعٍ وَآمَنَهُمْ مِنْ خَوْفٍ Now let's see what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is addressing to us in Surah Quraysh. Al-Quraysh, the people of Quraysh. The general idea of this Meccan chapter is that the Meccan pagans must be grateful and 
devoted to Allah alone for saving the Kaaba from the army of the elephant. In the name of Allah, the most compassionate, most merciful, at least for the favor of making Quraysh habitually secure, secure in the trading caravan to Yemen in the winter and Syria in the summer. Let them worship the Lord of this sacred house who has fed them against hunger and made them secure against fear. Now that, that was some translation. Let's move on to Tajweed. What are we going to learn in Tajweed today? Today in Tajweed, we are going to continue learning about tip of the tongue, Tharaful Lisan. Today, we are going to learn about the letters La, Zal, Tha. The exit for these three letters is tip of the tongue touching the edges of the upper front teeth. Let me give you an example for these three letters. For the letter Tha, the word Thaqulat Duhad. And for the letter wa, wa li mu, wa 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 li mu. Wa is a heavy letter, so we have to make it heavy. Our back of the tongue it's raised. Wa li mu. Ya wim. Wulumadi. Wa li mu. Wa 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 li mu. Ya wim. We, we, your wim, Wulu Maddy, Wu, Wu, Wulu Maddy. And for the letter Zal, the word Zalika, Zalika, Za, Za, Zalika. And the word Yuka Zibu, Yuka Zibu, Z, Z, Yuka Zibu. And the word Harim, have you noticed that whilst I was pronouncing the words, my tongue was sticking out? Yes. This is how we have to pronounce these letters, so don't feel shy to stick out your tongue. The tip of the tongue will be touching the edges of the upper front teeth and your tongue, the tongue will be sticking out. Harim, take a look at these two pictures. This picture over here is showing the exit of the letters ZAL and THA and this picture over here is showing the exit of the letter wa. These two pictures are similar because tip of the tongue is touching the edges of the upper front teeth. But if you look closely, over here in this picture, the back of the tongue is raised. So this is why we're going to make the letter VA heavy. But in this picture, the back of the tongue is not raised. So the letters ZAL and THA, they are light. Okay. Now let's find some examples from the surahs that we have gone through so far. Surah to Quraysh. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Harim, in verse number three, the word HADA, THAL. Where is it pronounced from? That is pronounced from the tip of the tongue touching the edges of the upper front teeth. Yes, and in verse number four, the word Aladi Apa Amahum, that 
Where is it pronounced from? That is pronounced from the tip of the tongue touching the edges of the upper front teeth. And Harim in Surah Al-Kawthar Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Verse number one Al-Kawthar Tha Where is it pronounced from? Tha is pronounced on the tip of the tongue touching the edge of the upper front teeth. Yes. Great job, Harim. That's enough this week for today. Now let's come back to the answer of today's question. The clan or family from Quraysh that keeps the keys of the Kaaba is Banu Shaiba, and the current keeper of the keys in 2021. 1442 Hijri is Salih bin Taha al-Shaybi. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant him a long healthy life. Ameen. I hope this video benefited you just like me. Till our next video, have your own practicing what you have gone through. Take care. Stay safe. Assalamu alaikum.